hot pot got some real action this morning. It was real time excitement of uh, Armani throwing up, so we had to put the spot bot on that spot. It worked well though. I'll have to check it when I get home. It was still wet when I left. But we will see how well it worked. But it did work. Why is it that with the cable company, if they tell you that they're going to be there between 20... Ha, 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 ha. See, I'm all flustered. If they tell you that they're going to be there between 10 and 12, if it's for the cable or if you're going to be there, they're not going to be there between 10 and 12. They'll probably be there right at 12. Uh, but if you're not going to be there, they're going to be there five minutes before 10 the heck man sometimes i don't think that people understand how much or how close nature is to us here in florida look as i walk out my front door hey there how are you what you doing out in my front yard huh just hanging out that's cool gotta make another real quick trip back up to the harley davidson dealership for so that adam can drop off some more paperwork so we're gonna ride the bikes but i uh i cut my exhaust pipes today and I think I might have cut them too short because it's like ridiculously loud now. So hopefully I don't get pulled over or anything like that. You never know. I keep ending up here for some reason. There you guys go. These are my new exhaust pipes that I cut today. Not very much to them. But it got cold today. I was not prepared for how cold that was. I was expecting a nice warm spring motorcycle ride. I was like, oh, I'll put on a jacket. Maybe I'll get... You know, I might get hot. No, I should have worn long sleeves and mittens and... Not mittens, gloves. And like, I don't know, all kinds of other crazy stuff to keep me warm because I was freezing by the end of it. I got crazy, like, motorcycle helmet hair. It's like all kinds of funky. Oh well. I just realized I never even told you guys, like, what happened with the internet last night. I was just like, eh, nothing happened. It was good. When I woke up this morning, internet was back on. No problems whatsoever, and I'm like, what the heck? But I had already made the appointment for the guy to come out. And of course, I made the appointment for between 10 and 12, and they're cable guys, so I figured, eh, they'll be there at like 12. No, he shows up at 9.59, or 9.55, so I'm like, oh crap, gotta get back to the house. Speed back to the house, get in here, and the guy starts taking a look around, take a look, taking, oh my goodness, taking a look around. And he's like, well, the, oh, oh, oh no. Uh, your signal's really weak inside of your house. And you, wow, they ran these wires completely wrong. And I'm like, oh good, I'm glad that you're here to tell me this. He's like, yeah, you should probably have a dedicated line for your internet, not running off the TV line, because the way that mine runs is it comes into this big amplifier up in the attic. It's like a six-way splitter and then it comes down to the different TVs and it so happens that the one that's behind my TV here in the uh, living room is the one that has the modem underneath it and it's off the same line it's just a splitter down low he's like that's totally wrong shouldn't have done that so he fixed a bunch of stuff outside like made it so that there's not quite as much noise as what he called it on my line here and then he's like I have to make an appointment for Friday with this because there's a lot more work that needs to be done. So we made another appointment for Friday and somebody's gonna come out and run us a direct line from the power pole to our modem. So it should be lightning fast. Be able to upload like 90 video, well, <laughs> no. <laughs> One video a day is enough, but hopefully it'll upload faster. But I do believe that it is a good day though. I'm gonna take my winter jacket and I'm gonna put it away in storage. And even though I was cold tonight, spring is officially on us. Got flowers blooming, birds are chirping. The world is beautiful. Eh, you know. At least it is for us in Florida. <laughs> Jen is secretly watching my videos. She goes back and watches all the old ones. And then she sings songs about them. So real quick, what... What's happening with YouTube? Is it thumbs up or is it stars? What is it? What am I supposed to be doing? I can't make a video where I tell you to rate me five stars or I tell you to give me thumbs up if it changes all the time. Your hair on top of Bandit's head. <laughs> you have a wig on, Bandit? Do you have a wig on? He loves it. Look at his tail. Oh, no, look at it. Wait, do it again. Oh, Bandit, you look like a beetle.
You're the blonde haired <laughs> Paul McCartney dog. How that? how does it <laughs> Oh dear, I'm gonna get in trouble for this, aren't I? How does uh, a dog with an English accent sound? What is it what is it uh, when you were in Spanish class in high school or if you're not in high school yet, when you go to Spanish class what was it they said that chickens sounded different in Spain, right? Did they do that? They did it on community at least. I never took Spanish class, I don't know. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually looking up on Google what sound a chicken makes in Spanish. Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to- Oh, look at the price!